Welcome to our 1000 egg uh, unboxing setup and operational video. So as you can see we've got our 1000 egg incubator here out of the box. Um, here's the controller. We're gonna, we're gonna cover all that. So if we open up the machine, we can open the doors. You'll see there are a couple of levels. Each level is, uh, um, can pull out and it's got the rollers. On, on a couple of the levels, we've got some hatching baskets that can be assembled uh, when they are required later. We will cover the assembly later in the video. So we can just remove all the parts. Right, so these are the rollers. Then we move down. We've got a, a, the humidity tray here that is fitted with a, a, humidity, a humidity element. We've got a little spacer to make sure it doesn't uh, melt uh, the bottom. Um, we've got a, 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 a refill ball valve here that can that can uh, assist if you if you don't want to keep filling water manually and you connect something up. And then we've got a little nice safety feature in here, so that's an electronic stop for the um, for the element. That, that that just ensures that if there's no water or if there's not enough water in the humidity tray, the element will not come on. So what we've got as well is the power cable and a little manual. Okay, we, are, we also have the hatching basket bottoms here. So we're going to remove that as well and keep it aside. The first step before connecting power is adding water to the humidity tray. It is crucial to always have water in here. So we've got a nice little bucket and we're just going to fill it up. The next step is connecting the turning motors. We are only connecting the top one uh, because this video is only for edu educational purposes, but you can go down and connect all of them if you are ready to stop. So once that's done, we can connect power. Okay. So now that the power is on, the first thing we can do is test the rollers. So uh, um, we, can, we can push out the drawer, we, plus we press that button and you can put your hand on, uh, um, uh, it's always good to mark it with the marker just to make sure that it is actually turning. I'm sure you won't be able to see on the video, but it is in fact turning. So we are happy that that is working. Okay. While we wait for the, the machine to get up to temperature and, and reach the, the, the desired humidity, we can discuss the controller real quick. So here we've got the time to the next turn. That is the temperature inside the machine. That's the humidity inside the machine and a day counter. These indications, that means that the temperature, that the element's on, so it's busy heating up. The water droplets means the humidity is uh, um, the humidity tray is, is busy operating trying to push up the humidity and the fan is on so to set the temperature we press this button right here we can see it's set to 38 degrees now we take make it 37.8 we press set again now that's saved let's go to the humidity so the humidity is set at 55 let's make that 57 and we press again to set Okay, so now we just wait for the machine to do, to do its magic and, and get up to temperature. Another nifty little feature that the machine has is a cooling, a cooling period. So that is just to stop it from alarming if you are going to open the machine. So say you want to candle your eggs on day 8, you press the cooling, cooling function. It's going to stop, it's going to stop uh, heating, it's going to stop the humidification and it's not going to alarm. So now we, open, now we can open up the machine. We can, we can take out the eggs, candle them, uh, uh, put back, and once we finished, we just press it again, and now it's back to normal operation. Okay, so if you come over to this side, this little button with the gear here is to uh, enable an egg turn. So normally it counts down to an egg turn and, and does an egg turn for 13 seconds, but if we press that, it's going to turn and uh, um, then we move on to the plus and the minus. We obviously use that to set the temperature and the humidity, but if you press and hold it, the machine will do a factory reset. So 
So now the machine is back to the back to the settings it was sent out with from out the factory and all the settings are back to normal. Okay, so now we are ready to set the eggs. So first what we do is we put the machine on cooling mode. So it stops cooling and humidifying. We open the doors. Okay, we've just got a small batch of eggs just because it's an educational video. So uh, um, we uh, lay the eggs down flat on the rollers. And you can fold the entire tray up like this. Okay, so now that our eggs are set, we can close the machine up again. So, uh, once it's closed, we just stop the cooling mode and now it's back to normal operation. The machine will take some time to get up to temperature and humidity because it was, it was open for a while. But basically, all we have to do now is to keep the water tray filled um, to make sure that the humidity is within the range. Um, the temperature will do its own thing, the turning will do its own thing. Um, the only job you have is to make sure that uh, um, the, the, the water tray is filled. Um, if you connect to the automatic uh, 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 filling station, it's much better, then you don't have to worry about it. And uh, um, yeah, that's uh, very, very easy. Okay, once we reach day eight, we are ready to candle. So all you do is put the machine on cooling mode again, we open up and uh, um, we candle so we candle in a dark room make sure there's no other source of light we've got some candling uh, information on our website and a video on youtube as well so have a look at what eggs are fertile which are not um, place back the fertile eggs into the machine make sure that your humidity tray is full that's basically all we're doing for the first 18 days the machine uh, does the rest so once you've finished candling, you can close up the machine and we stop the cooling mode again and we are ready to run until day 18. Okay, once we reach the 18, it's, re it's, it's time for the last candle. We put it on cooling mode again and uh, um, we open up the machine. So this time we can, we candle the eggs, but we take it out of the incubator as well. So that we take them all out because we are going to be assembling the hatching baskets as well. So uh, on day 18, you'll definitely be able to tell if the egg's fertile or not. Um, there will be a dark mass, you will be able to see a nice big air sac and in most cases you will see, you will be able to see the chick move inside the, the, the egg. If it's still clear, if the, if the embryo died along the way, you will definitely be able to see that it is not fertile anymore. Okay, so now we're going to remove the hatching tray as well and uh, uh, we are going to assemble the hatching basket onto it. Okay, so to assemble, we need the following. You need two short sides, two long sides, as well as the grid. So first, we, uh, we put the grid down. We just push it through here, so just as flat as we possibly can. So next, we assemble the baskets. So it's got a little clip-in feature. So you press the short side into the long side and it just clips in. We do the 
other side as well. Okay, yada kicky in. And maybe we've got the yeah. See, it's basically done. So these little clips go over the the top around bar and it secures the bar. We've got that in here. And a little bit too far over to the motor. So there we go. Okay. So here the the hatching baskets assembled so we're going to push that back in and add our eggs okay once the box baskets assembled we can put it back into the machine so there is only four hatching baskets supplied with the machine but that's more than enough to fit the thousand eggs um, we had to remove uh, one level down in this video as well because the the, the baskets too high so now we just slide that in there and uh, here yeah, are our team baskets ready. Good. So now it's time to, to add the eggs. So these are now our fertile eggs, which we've candled, and we are sure that they, are, they have living embryos inside, ready to hatch. So uh, um, we just place them flat on the, on, on the grid and, uh, um, and fill up the tray. And don't worry, you can take your time. It's not a time sensitive thing. If it takes 20 minutes to do this, it's not a problem. The embryos, the, nothing will happen to the embryos. Okay, now our eggs are in the machine. The machine's running and we are on day 18. So very important, we need to up the humidity. So we press the plus button and we set that to 65 and above. So we're gonna take it all the way up to 70% press again to save that and now the machine is going to maintain 70% ins inside the machine to make sure that the shells are nice and soft and the chicks can break through the shell easily. Normally we say don't open the machine at all while you're on day 18, 19, uh, 20 and 21. We're leaving it for the hatch but if you do have some super hard shells and the chick might, chicks might struggle to bra break through we recommend misting. So all you do is you open the machine and just pull out the drawer a tiny little bit and we miss. Make sure you don't miss the humidity sensor that's going to compromise it but you can miss the eggs twice a day and that will make sure that this, the, the shells are nice and soft. Okay, now that we are misting the, misting the eggs, uh, we've set the humidity up nice and high. All we have to do is wait for the chicks to hatch. Um, we normally recommend waiting up until day 22, 23 to make sure that all the chicks get a chance to hatch. Um, Chicks can survive for up to 48 hours inside the machine without any food or water. So you don't have to worry about them starving inside. Um, but yeah, so the machine basically does everything. You just need to keep the water filled and change the settings on day 18. Otherwise, it's fully automatic. If you have any other questions or queries or want to find out a bit more, you can view our Delta Incubators YouTube channel or you can visit our Delta Incubators website.